what really happened in Guinea. Well, in one sentence, about two weeks ago, President Alf Conde, now the ex-president, was deposed from his position in a coup led by Colonel Mamadi Dombuya. Before we actually talk about what really happened in Guinea, we need to confront the details of what led to this coup. It is not simple as it sounds. First off, President Alpha Conde has been the president of Guinea from 2010 till this month when he was removed in the recent coup. That's almost 10 years. Alpha Conde came into power as a pro people politician, like they all do, anyways. Upon his election as the first freely elected president of Guinea, Alpha Conde said he would strengthen Guinea as a democracy and fight corruption. Unfortunately, he didn't do much, so he ran, asking people to trust him again to change things. In 2010, after literally doing nothing about what he promised, he decided to run for a third term. And this happened after him forcefully tampering with the constitution to allow him to run for two more terms. The Guinea constitution only allows for a maximum of two presidential terms. This Congo dude wanted another 10 years in office. Makiu is already 83 years old. So 10 extra years makes him 93 years old. Like bro, we have already given you 10 years and you've done nothing. What else do you really want from us? African leaders keep surprising me. Do you actually want to die in power? Like by 83, you are tired and research has it that as you age, your cognitive abilities also start to weaken. So at 83, you literally need to take a chill pill. But unfortunately, Conde was not buying any of that. I remember at a certain national event where the national anthem was being played, this aging Conde guy didn't realize it was a national anthem. He thought they were probably playing some random party jubilation songs. He started throwing up these freedom fists in the air, thinking they were celebrating him. Bro, it was so embarrassing. Everyone was literally like, okay, Konde, please just stop. Anyways, after extending his late term limits, at this point, it was evident that people were getting fed up of him. National tension increased, especially in the capital city. And shortly after, protests sprang up in Conakry and other cities, which he brutally repressed. And from October 2019 to March 2020, more than 30 people were reported murdered by the government armed forces. Kode, even when he was building the foundation of the house that would eventually collapse over his head, and surely it did. However, like most dictatorships, they never want to live peacefully. They prefer to put up a fight, and usually it is the men around them who light the fire below their bottoms. Enter Kano Mamadi Dumbuya. Before the school, Kano Mamadi Dumbuya was not a known fellow. He generally had a low profile. During his 15 year military career, Kano Dumbuya served with missions in Afghanistan, Ivory Coast, Djibouti, Central African Republic, Israel, Cyprus, UK, and in Guinea itself. After serving in the French Foreign Legion for several years, Kano Mamadi Dumbuya was asked by Conde himself to return to Guinea to lead the newly established Allied Special Forces Group, also known as GFS, in 2018. In recalling Kano Dumbuya to set up the GFS, Mr. Conde, Alpha Conde, the president, had no idea that he was hustling his own political death. I remember in one picture, Mamadi Dumbuya was seen holding an umbrella for Conde at a certain national event, which reminds me of a popular saying, keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I guess Conde did that ignorantly. Quick 
leaders really stand very far from the people they are going to depose. I remember Soseko Mobutu was very close to Lumumba. I remember Idi Amin was very close to Obote, etc. etc. And typically these school leaders do not act on their own. Enter the USA. The USA, through its AFRICOM scheme, also called as America's Strategic African Command, has facilitated multiple coups in Africa and the world over, as we know. With regards to Africa, the USA, through AFRICOM, has trained coup leaders and has given them the necessary military and financial backup to see through these coups. For example, in Mali, 2012, 2020, we all remember Libya, Egypt, and recently, currently, Guinea. The American forces trained about a hundred special forces members led by Kani, Kano Mamadi Dumbuya and have worked with him for years. There's actually a popular picture that has been circulating over the internet of Kano Mamadi Dumbuya posing with the US, US soldiers at the US Embassy in Conakry. Although the US Embassy refuted involvement in the coup, all signs showed that they were heavily involved. A day after the coup, a video of the US Green Berets in an SUV was posted in, on social media with Guinea soldiers atop of a USV, of a SUV and people jubilating as they were passing. As we already know, the Green Berets are strictly for the US Special Forces, who are only assigned special missions. And surely this school was a special mission. But again, the US Embassy still refuted these claims. Obviously, they have to. Duh! So, what really happened on the day of the coup? Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya and his men surrounded the presidential palace. And Alpha Conde that day in the morning was in the presidential palace. Of course, shots were had for a couple of hours until the presidential guard was overwhelmed and they literally surrendered. But I kind of think they were also in on it. I guess they knew the drill. Presidential Conde was inside the palace and he was held under house arrest after the successful takeover. And again on the morning of the coup, we saw a video circulating on social media showing Conde in a couch with a few soldiers in the Guinea Special Forces surrounding him. He was not harmed in any way, but of course he looks defeated. I would be defeated too. Come on. The man who has already quote unquote won an election. Of course he didn't, but yeah, he won. And a year after, you're still planning things that are going to happen. These guys come and take you down. You look defeated. So moments after securing the presidential palace, Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya went on national TV and informed the country that the government and Congress constitution had been dissolved and a new system of governance was to be instituted with the help of the people. Ah, Congress and using the word people. Like really, of course, it sounds better, but the actual fact is, usually, there are stages of other acting power that are much more greater than the normal common average people. Anyway, Bambuya called on every citizen to stay calm, but to stay indoors. A statewide curfew was put in place, but still, people went out on the streets because they wanted to celebrate. Trucks were seen loitering around the whole capital city. You know, in a way to show that we are back, we are in charge, everything should go back to normal. Colonel Mamadi Dumbuya made it clear that they had no intentions to harm Conde, but we still await to see what will become of Conde. As we speak now, ECOWAS, 
which stands for the Economic Community of West African States, comprising about 15 countries, has suspended Guinea from the bloc earlier this week. The still promising further sanctions, by the way, and the African Union also announced the suspension of Guinea from the bloc and any decision makings that involve Guinea were cancelled. But my question is, where was the African Union when Kondo was killing people who were protesting his brutal rule? It doesn't make sense, because selective justice is no justice at all. Nous avons décidé ainsi, après avoir sur le président qui est actuellement avec nous, la République, nous avons décidé de dissoudre la constitution en vigueur, de dissoudre les institutions. Nous avons décidé aussi de dissoudre le gouvernement, de la fermeture des frontières terrestres. Now that Kano Mamadi is in charge and has promised key structure changes to the government, we are to see if Life in Guinea will change, or stay the same, or even become worse. My money is on Guinea staying the same, or even becoming worse. Because a lot of coups have happened in Africa and the world over, but the most significant change has occurred in the quality of the general citizenry. Let me know what you think about this coup in Guinea in the comment section. Also, if you'd like us to make a video about a certain topic, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Peace.